going up against Echo. Game number two, who's going to take the win? Are we going to extend to all three games for tonight? Well, let's find out as we jump right into the land of Dawn. Echo on blue side versus Fire Flux Impunity on the red side. Looking at the battle spells here, rather interesting. But yes, they're doing it all over again. Echo, check them out. Yeah, looking at the situation, Carl Tease is gonna solo the purple, while Bene Cutie as well as Yaoi, they were starting the orange oh. buff. So this is going to be a very fast clear here for Carl Tease. Call him fast clear Magia. Yeah, under a minute, he's able to take both buffs, totally ignore the small caps, and then go straight for the little wonder. Are you level three, man? Look at that, they can't keep up with this. And especially when you are playing Amon, you're naturally going to be slower. He did take Mystery Shop. He's not going to try and go out of his bounds. He needs his items more than anything else. Yeah, I would argue that he wants his items more than he wants levels. Looking at the situation right now, um, Kira, level three. And right now, Carl TZ also level three, about to get level four in-game equipment. He is going for the Steel Lake Plates again. Very interesting. It does seem like he wants to be able to tank the damage coming in from Sunshine in the early stages of the game. Mm, fair enough, fair enough. Alien, he himself decides to go for the tenacity, making sure that huh. he is just tanky enough to be that bot, uh, that stun bot, right? To stick on to the right targets. But all of it, this composition that we're seeing from uh, Firefox Impunity is to really punish Benny QT, which begs the question, right? Who's going to take care of Sanji? Whoa! Kyura walks in, oh. lands a kill on Sanji, barely survives. I was just gonna say, I was just gonna say, buying pants early, does that not show respect for Amon's Kyura? No, Kyura's Amon. Yeah, but here's the thing, because he deals magic damage, so I'm thinking like, maybe not. I'm thinking a magic rope would be a little bit better, but now, what? looking at the situation, Alien taking quite a bit of damage, and Echo takes that as a sign, like, we can go for this, no one's gonna stop us. Look at this preemptive Black Dragon form patrolling this turtle pit. Quick turtle take here for Echo. Yep, beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff coming out from Echo as always. But again, when you're looking at Fire Flux Impunity, their main game plan, it's not for the side objectives. They want kills. They're looking for people, not just neutral objectives. Apex 47 now, level four. Carl Teasy finds oh. Lunar, taunts onto two. Oh, Kira. watch Kura gets a few stacks on the Carl Teasy. He survives, forcing out a third air strike. Down goes the goat. Kura gets a kill. Join first blood. Beautiful, but down on bottom side. Oh, oh. sunshine. He has no backup here. Yeah. Apex. Oh, they're so far off. They're really far off. But first blood's already achieved. I just love these off tempo plays coming up from Fire Flux Impunity. That's the main goal. You're not playing the traditional style. You're looking to find the holes in this golden standard that Echo has set in place. It's almost like game number one. Let's see what they're going to do. Now that we see what they're going to do, we got to see what's going on because converting EXP to the mid lane originally an EXP laner, Lunar, will be playing as a mid laner replacing Rosa. And the thing is, I kind of feel like, let's just play War Strikes. What are you good at? Fighters. Well, that's a bit awkward, but we're going to roll with it anyways. Yeah, no, isn't this the next best thing to a compromise? But wait, down bottom, Carl Deasy tries to get a beat on a Sunshine. Here comes Yaoi, the playmaker, gets a face full of lead, but Sanji takes down the marksman before anything is said. Kyura very low. Here comes Alien, supporting his jungler, using that Amon's kit to try and heal up. Wants to get the kill. Sanford's still alive. Oh. Alien can get his man. Yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed, but he wants to try and cancel Sanford's. Wow. Sanford, Nerves of Steel just stood there. Nah, mm. you're not going to do it. Try me. I know me. it. I know it. Tipos. <laughs> Tipos. I'm, I'm number one. <laughs> <laughs> number two, three, and, and above. You guys can't, can't do anything to me. Right, right now, Sunshine is just clearing his minions in terms of goal lead, not as much as the early oh. game, and Sanford gets pulled back. Early final slash here, trying to go for the outplay, and Sanford falls! Alien gets the kill, down goes Kyura, Sanji, and Yaoi gets the pull! DJ taking down Alien, and there's another fight here near the turtle pit. Kati gets the final appraiser's wrath, but here comes the DF from Lunar. Ben Cutie looking to take the skies, couple He's more weakness points. Here comes the DF, pow, one more pow! He's the one who goes down! Down, Benny Cutie gets a kill. Yep, he had no choice. He had to use it. He already used this Purify at the same time. They were so close to taking out Carl Teasy, but just so far as he manages to walk away with just a sliver of health. Now keep in mind that Fire Flux Impunity Kira should be okay here, right? No. Nope. Gets a passive on it. No! Oh, he went back strike. in. Pops him. 
And Carl Deasy gets a turtle there. Fireflux overstayed their welcome. That's a little unfortunate. They gotta keep playing for these off-tempo plays, right? They gotta keep in mind, don't fall into the same habits. Don't listen to the traditional rules of Mobile Legends. We're expecting these fights to happen around the turtle, but that's not the main goal. At the end of the day, they're trying to shut down Benny QT. And if they don't shut him down, or at least build up a lead enough to make it happen, then you have to take a step back. I gotta say, the interaction between the items as well. Yowie's going oh, in. Oh, there's a flicker, plus a pull on the big cow. And Lunar takes to the skies. But wait, can he take down Benny Cutie before he's the one who does so? And there's the crossbow of Tang. Benny Cutie takes down another double kill. Make it a trip. Oh, but no, Sunshine gets him down. He does eventually get the 3K, but that's a shutdown. Big money over to Fimp, but Echo wins the trade. I gotta say, early trades here, Echo, they're like, okay, you guys wanna fight? We're, we're not running away, we can fight. Sanji right now, I kinda feel like in MSC we haven't seen a lot of Farsas, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people have forgotten the amount of damage that a Farsa can pull up, and then you're like, oh wait, now I remember. Now I remember. But now, one of the problem is, Carl Teasy, early item, the Steel Lake Plates, so far has been playing dividends. Whoa, Rogue Black Dragon coming in <laughs> from the west. Tries to get his man, there's the Petrify. Kyura still alive, healing up, and they disengage. Whoa, that was, that, oh. that just happened. I, I'm i rather surprised that Echo decided to make that call. They gotta temper themselves here, right? They cannot fall into their bloodlust. They cannot go skull for the Skull God as they usually do, especially when it's the right place, right time. Because remember, Fimp, they gotta play off tempo. And if they can, again, hit Echo at their heels, right at their ankles, tilt them off Keter just enough, that could be the opening that they're looking for, right? Again, Sanji has been playing a very disciplined game, but Samford, he's gotta calm down a little. Two Radiant Armor so far. I'm smelling a third coming up for Sanford. And this does well, not only against the Amon, but as well as the Fovius. So right now they really gotta go over for Sunshine to really deal the damage, because I'm feeling they're about to keep their ceiling soon. Oh, there's a pull on the alien. Oh, he does oh, get a oh. dashes in, and that's a double kill for Sunshine. Alien very low, can Benny to get the kill? Not gonna You're go up. ahead and take to the skies. Oh, amazing response what? by Fireflox. Beautiful play coming in from Apex. He literally hopped over the uh, over the turtle pit, flickers in and using the Minoan Fury and catches all three. A great response, but how did they convert? Oh, Black Dragon forward by Sanford. Help in, Carl needs to secure this turtle, but Lunar to the rescue. Oh, oh. this is the retribution. Kyura gets it. And right now looking at the situation, it is a very good trade. Carl Teasy is a little bit angry. He wants to go forward. Oh, Prazer's Wrath. Not enough damage under the two that got hit. Alien and Lunar forced to back out. There's a Feathered Air Strike. Carl Teasy still wants more. That's a clear disengage and a push down bottom. Woo. Everything that's been happening so far, it's great to see that this time, Fireflux and Impunity are saying, you know what? Disrespect the space as much as you can. Make Echo tilt. Make them go for that first move. If Sanford tries to go for that Black Dragon form, we can pull back because getting in and out of the fight isn't that difficult for our particular composition. Like, personally, I would have imagined that Gushin was going to be the play for Cure instead of the Amon. But the movement speed and the camouflage has helped him out. Oh, there's a pull on the Apex. Can he survive? He does, but only for a second longer. Oh, Benny QT Airlines gets 2K once more. 6 1 and 0 oh on this 1 1. Kura is standing by. But the thing is, Sanji, Yaoi, Benny Cutie really preventing Fireflux Impunity from really doing whatever oh. they want. Benny Cutie is taking quite a lot of damage, but we gotta look at Yaoi every single time an attempt happens onto either Sanji or onto Benny Cutie. It will be denied by Yaoi, so they really got to make sure whoever they're, they're targeting for, Yaoi cannot be there. The problem is, Yaoi's everywhere. He's literally everywhere. He always has his divine judgment in the most convenient of places you would almost feel if you are a part of the Turkish squad. But more importantly, I think that at the end of the day, it's all going to come down to that high ground defense, right? Echo, they're building up the lead like we saw previously. Not as much and not as devastating as game number one, but definitely a lot more even. Right now, Echo, they're pushing up top. And again, Yaoi is just everywhere. What are they looking for right now? Because they have two ways to engage the fight. The Minotaur as well as the Arlen. 
every single time they initiate, something goes wrong. Either Yowie is there, Sanford is there. They got to make sure. But right now, Yaoi can seal oh, who he's going to find. Got spotted out. They don't Lunar see Apex. Displaced. They don't see Sanford. Sunshine making the most of this. Just whoa. Oh, they, don't no. see they, don't, no. they don't know. They don't know. This is deep. Oh, Yaoi, get over here. Gets the pull on Alien, and here comes Apex. Close flickers in, and there's the answer. Betty Cutie goes down. Oh, but straight enough for Sunshine. They're still going. Lunar takes out Carl Deasy. That's a man advantage for Pimp. Double kill for Lunar. Yo, what? DF going in. Yaoi gets his immortality. Still intact, and that's a trade. Three for one. Gideon, I, 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 I could have sworn that was Echo. Yeah. What happened? Suddenly, right now, Fire Rocks and Beauty, they were the one that won the fight. What oh happened? Lord. Come on. What? We got to pull out that replay. So many things happened at once. The canceling of the Feathered Airstrike, the kill onto Benny QT. All of it happening at almost the exact same time. Let's pull up the replay one more time and break it down. Because first of all, we see the initial capture. We keep your eyes on Benny QT. He gets a little too close and gets caught up in the big play from Apex and immediately the follow-up from Lunar, uh, Lunar to get into the middle of that fight, making it basically impossible. Like Call TZ as well as Benny QT, almost dying at the same time. This is what we were building up to, right? Mm -hmm. We were talking about how Fireflux Impunity, their lineup is amazing at re-engages. Despite Sanford's amazing pincer maneuver, you, you can't beat the fact that there were two or three big ticket ults that Fireflux were holding on to. And that's what led to this big win for them. They're now ahead a thousand gold. Right now Sanford up top, make sure that he can clear the wave. Sunshine really wants this turret. And it looks like gonna get really close. Carl Giese is there to help Sanford. And it looks like for now, he's not able to defend the top turret. The Lord is marching bottom. Whoa. Alien pulls in Carl Deasy, but Carl Deasy is able to survive, especially having that Radiant Armor, can handle the damage coming in from Amon. Yep, he takes the damage, and more importantly, they get a majority of the outer turrets, and that's the best that Fireflux Impunity can get. This is their very first Lord, right? It's not that strong, you're not expecting too much from it, but now, how do they turn this around and get aggressive? How do they set up this situation again? Well, Carl Teasy is moving forward, Apex 47 taunted, and the thing that I like about the fight is the fact that Kira and Alien, they understand that they could kite out of the way mm -hmm. and then engage back in. Their real trouble is Sanji when it comes to damage because Benicuti, yes, does quite a lot of damage, but I kind of feel like, leave that to Kira, he can handle that. The rest, you gotta shut down Sanji. Let's not forget about some of the smaller synergies between the heroes from the side of Fireflux, like Sunshine, especially with Bennett's Rage, with the Minoan Fury, and arguably even with the final slash. You think you're out of it? Nope. You get sweeped back into such a high damage all. And let's not forget, it doesn't have to be Bennett's Rage. It could be Nibiru's Passion as well. Looking at the items as well, in terms of damage, I think Benicuti is going for that Malefic Roar because the front line coming in from Fireflux Infinity is getting just a little bit annoying because look, actually it's surprising. Looking at the Fovius, not really doing any defensive items, going straight on damage. Nope, hmm. uh, this is what they want. They want some representation of burst because, again, consider the new buff on a Minotaur, right? Yep. The almost genius wand-esque effect of his passive wherein every time he hits someone with a skill, it lowers their physical and magic defense. So I get it. They want both DPS and DOT. Let's not forget about also the fact that he gives adaptive armor or, well, or magic resist, depending on the situation. And that's the beauty of it. It allows Lunar to actually get deep into that fight. Let's not forget that CCs, especially if they displace an opponent or arguably even a knockup, procs the demonic force. You already hear the grumblings of the Lord. Already on the map. It looks like Fireflux, Impunity, they're all here except for Kura which is on the top side of the map, but coming back down, Ooh. he should be seeing Sanford, but I kind of oh. feel like Sanford's seeing him first. No, they both see each other. Yaoi goes in. Will he oh. get Sunshine? Flickers in, spent, and he's going to get welcomed in by Apex and Alien. Look at this. Lunar very low. Forced to use the Winter Truncheon. That's a pickoff for Echo. That's 5v4 now. I wonder, is there going to be a steal in oh. our near future? Watch Kyura, watch Carl TZ. Look at the Lord. And that's Kyura stealing it away. They take down Benny Cutie as well. Plus a massive Mino on Fury by Apex 47. <laughs> and now Yaoi, the playmaker, trying to take it down. But he's going to go down as well. Alongside what? Carl TZ. It's just Sanji no! here. They will kill for Kyura. Say his name. TNG. Oh. My God. This you guys feel it? 
You guys feel a third game? The tides are changing. You guys feel it? I'm feeling a third game here. It's coming. It's coming. We all want it. It's going to happen. And now they're looking to go for the end. Dude, right now, only Sanji is alive. Alien is tanking Final it. Final Sanji is pulled back. He goes down. Watch the base. Watch the base. Five blocks impunity. Take a game from Echo. The world champion suffered their defeat here. Now it's equalized. One to one. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a series on our hands. Oh my goodness. I'm at a loss for words. What a great play coming out for Firefox Community. What an amazing attempt from Echo's side. Just one misplay. Just unfortunately, Benny QT using his own inbuilt purify a little too early. I would almost want to say it is a misplay, sure. But I kind of feel like this isn't an outplay.